Thomas Eichard. I'm a professor of philosophy and computer science by courtesy at Stanford. Although this term, I'm visiting the wonderful people here at Caltech. Um, my research is in uh, logic and cognitive science. So uh, I'm generally interested in uh, reasoning, inference, decision-making, and the like. And within logic, uh, I work in um, a tradition that tries to uh, understand the structure of reasoning in precise mathematical terms. So here I'm contributing to discussions in mathematical, computational, and, and philosophical logic. But I'm also very interested in questions about how the mind works. So what are the underlying mechanisms that kind of support our actual activities of uh, inference, decision-making, and, and reasoning? So here the focus is more on empirical and modeling work. And I'm um, inspired by another long old tradition uh, that uh, attempts to understand thought and cognition in computational and more generally uh, engineering terms. And you might think that you know logic, it's commonly supposed that logic is kind of a normative discipline uh, concerned as it is with um, ought, so how ought we think, how ought we um, make decisions, etc. And meanwhile, cognitive science and cognitive psychology are at least in part concerned with descriptive questions, questions about how humans and other kinds of organisms uh, in fact work. And so therefore, there's a kind of prima facie tension between these two perspectives on topics of reasoning and decision making, the normative and descriptive. And one kind of animating idea for what much of, of what I do is that the, this tension is a virtuous one. It's a productive one. So um, each uh, exerts a kind of helpful influence on the other. So in the one direction, um, normative theory can often uh, give us a kind of effective guiding framework for uh, thinking about descriptive questions and organizing our thoughts about um, how, how things in fact work. Um, generating predictions and so on. Um, and in the other direction, you might think that in order to understand oughts, in order to think about the normative, we have to know a good bit about what we and other organisms are in fact like. So, um, so a, a lot of what I do is, is really animated by this um, kind of productive tension between the normative and the descriptive. So I'm absolutely delighted and, and honored to be giving the um, Adolf Grunbaum Memorial Lectures, a lecture this coming uh, Friday. Um, and my talk here is going to be on one specific strand of, of this work that I've described. Um, and I'll um, be attempting to bring tools from the theory of computation and the theory of causality to try to elucidate what it means for a, a low level system, something like a brain, uh, to implement um, a high level system, something like a computation. Um, so dealing with issues of uh, abstraction and implementation and um, questions uh, of that sort. So uh, I very much look forward to talking much more about all of this with all of you on, uh, on Friday.